Hello ladies and gentlemen, once again, Jeremy Smith, at Photog J the Great. Thought I would bring you guys something a little bit different today. Uh, today, instead of looking at a camera or a lens, we're going to be taking a look at um, <clears throat> one of my favorite bags here. This is the uh, Think Tank Airport International. Um, if you're going to spend all that money on lenses and cameras, you definitely need something very, very nice to carry it around in. Now, this is one of Think Tank's rolling bags. Um, it is very, very carry-on friendly, um, although I have to admit I, I, I'm not really um, into a whole lot of air travel. Uh, but anyways, but I, I have been told that this does very, very well in terms of, uh, of carry-ons. Now, this one I've actually been using for two years now, so it's not all pretty and new and out of the box. So, um, I thought about getting another one that was all fresh, but I thought it would be better if we did it on, on one that's been in use. If we take a look at the back of this bag, it has a nameplate that actually has a unique serial number on it. Uh, it's possible to go on Think Tank's website and register this number. And of course, you can document the number on the bag just like you document uh, the serial numbers on all your other equipment, which is very nice. In this little compartment right here, there's also this uh, security tether, which is nice. So if you ever have to leave your bag unattended, um, it's possible to actually uh, secure it to something that, that won't move, which is a very nice feature. That just stows back there. And the roller, or the pull handle, I should say, is right there. It's telescoping. Um, it does pretty well. Um, I noticed some people complained about about this being a bit flimsy. Um, however, I found that if you do what Think Tank says and actually use this top handle to lift it and not this part right here, it actually does very, very well. The only thing I did have a brief issue with was getting sand in it. I shoot outdoors a lot and uh, there was a couple times where I, got some, I actually got some sand between these telescoping sections and they had a tendency to kind of stick. Um, but I was able to blow that out with the blower and I was ma I managed to get it back in working order again. But that's probably one of the only real issues I've had with this bag so far. Mine's an older one, so it has, uh, has you know, I've had it a couple years. It has some, has some harder wheels. I have noticed though that all the newer bags that are shipping now uh, come with wheels that are a little bit softer. Uh, maybe I'll have to see if I can contact contact Think Tank and get some of the newer wheels because I think those just you know are much smoother. Okay, before you go inside, I'm going to show you some of the smaller details. It does have a lock for the zipper on the main compartment. Over on the side of the bag, it has a couple of little small eyelets here and some other attachment points that go down the strap here, and that allows you to attach uh, some of the included accessories. The bag includes a special holder for a tripod as well as a monopod. Um, you also notice there on the side of the bag, it's got some nice, uh, some nice, some nice durable uh, plastic. So as you're rolling the bag over curbs and things like that, everything stays protected. And the side of the bag is very, very rigid as well. Does a very, very nice job of protecting things. Up on top of the bag you have a very uh, large strap that's well padded and there's also a nice little spot to keep your business cards. Up top you'll also find this nice little zippered area so not only do you have a place to keep your cards but you have a spot where you can keep uh, things that you don't want to easily get away but you still need much much quicker access to. There's also a front compartment here, which is a nice place to keep memory cards and other small items. I like to keep my uh, Pixel Pocket Rockets up in this space. There's a little spot for a tether to attach here too, which if you're like me and have a tendency to misplace things, that's a good, good thing. I also like to keep a little lens cloth here attached to that as well and of course you've got a spot to keep your ink pens and other small little gadgets in here 
What have I got in here? Let's see. Oh, yes. Nice spot to keep a lens cleaning cloth. And there's also a little uh, nice holder for uh, your car keys and things like that when you don't want those rattling around in your pocket on your shoe. Inside this little flap here, right up top, there's a couple of little uh, smaller zippered compartments that it's really good for small items. In the right side compartment, you'll find another little smaller tether, similar to the one that's in the back of the bag. And this one right here uh, can be used to secure one of Think Tank's uh, laptop sleeves to, uh, to this bag. So that way, if you have your sleeve for your laptop stowed in this front, uh, front pocket here, you have a means of making sure that it stays with your bag. I like the inside of this bag a lot. Um, it holds quite a lot of stuff. Uh, there are a couple items missing from here. Uh, normally, normally the D7000 resides over on this side. Um, and my uh, 24-72-8 lens normally goes in this compartment right there. But both of those are being used to film this video. It does hold a uh, full-size DSLR very well right here. So this is my uh, D700 with the MBD-10 grip that goes in that compartment like that. It does very well. The D700 with the MBD-10 is actually taller than the D3 or D4 camera and uh, this bag still works very well with it. Uh, just an extra strap there. I have a filter pocket right here. Under which that, I, under that I keep my uh, keep my SD9 battery pack for my SP900 flash. And uh, then we have the 7200 down here. Uh, that's one thing that I like about this bag a lot uh, is the quality of the dividers. Now uh, you'll notice how thick these right here are. Um, of course I've re rearranged this quite a bit to my own liking. But uh, yeah, these, these do a very, very good job. Um, <clears throat> I put one of these very large dividers here around my 14 and 24. Since it takes up so much space, I usually put the hood for the 24 to 70 around it. And uh, yeah, the 14 to 24 is known for being just slightly on the fragile side. So it's very, very nice uh, to have it in a spot to where it can stay very firmly in place. A few flashes in here. SB900. Diffuser for it. SB800. And another SP800 right there. This bag also comes with a rain cover, which is nice. It works very well. It also has a little cutout in the top of it, um, so that way you can still extend the, the pull handle through. And it's a nice little bag that kind of just basically uh, fold, it basically folds up inside itself. So that's very nice. 50 millimeter down here. I like to use a lot of the uh, extra dividers, even some dividers from other bags. I think I have a few of those in here probably. But anyways, I like to use those as like little little doors to keep things all in place. You definitely don't want anything moving around a lot, and this bag gives you lots of options to keep things secure. TTO cable. And uh, my every once in a while occasionally used Tamron 28 to 200. And then, you know, this bag, uh, I could probably easily get a few more uh, lenses in here if I rearranged it a bit. It's been rearranged probably two or three times, and I've been very, very impressed with how much stuff I've been able to get in it. A whole bunch of miscellaneous crap down here. Um, flip for my 70 to 200. Uh, blower, charger, uh, some radio uh, flash triggers, battery holder for my uh, <clears throat> for my MBD10 grip, and even with the 70 to 200 lens over on this side of the bag, there's still actually quite a bit of space between um, 
the edge of the bag and this divider here. So I stuffed some things down there too. I got some, some gels and uh, some gel holders. This is by Honol Photo, uh, honolphoto.com. Highly recommend their product. Bump for my light again. <laughs> And these little battery holders right here come in handy. You can keep uh, AA batteries in them. Those fit in there as well. Right Way Photo gave me these. I'm not really sure where he got them. Now I have the bag flipped around. And uh, we're basically looking at the smaller compartments in the lid. Um, <clears throat> this brings me to my only other complaint I have about this bag. And this is a small, small little gripe. Um, of course, you've probably seen lots and lots of reviews where this bag is brand new. And all these little... Um, Plastic, plastic zippered pockets are all clear and shiny. Well, since my bag has been used for two years, um, these are a bit more opaque now. And so, yeah, they, they it kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. Um, it would be nice if they could find a material that, <clears throat> that didn't do this over time. And I'm not really even sure if there is such a material. Um, but that's kind of a downside, I guess. I've just got a lot of random items in these like uh, whoops like the um, little f uh, feet for my flashes and a few extra batteries for <clears throat> radio transmitters and things definitely if you have a uh, you know like a pocket wizard mini or something like that that uses an odd battery this is like a 2450 if you have something that uses this I highly recommend keeping an extra one in your bag because these batteries can be kind of hard to find sometimes. So I've got that in there. Wow, I'm going to have fun putting all this stuff back in my bag. <laughs> Another foot. Some miscellaneous little tripod adapter thing. And <clears throat> up here I've got a few extra, extra things here. BR2 reversing ring. And some, uh, let's see, that's the fifth battery holder from my SB800, I think. There went an AS15 on the floor. And uh, MC30 remote cable. But anyways, you guys get the idea. This bag holds a lot of crap. <laughs> it's kept all my equipment safe uh, for a couple of years now. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the, the only two things I could I would change if possible, would be probably the covers, or the, the covers for these little zippered pockets. It'd be nice if they didn't fog up like that. Um, <clears throat> the wheels on, as I mentioned earlier, the wheels on the newer bags are much, much better than this one. So I may have to see if Think Tank will send me some new ones, because the newer, the newer bags have some softer wheels. Uh, <clears throat> you've got lots and lots of options to lock and secure your bag. All the locks are TSA certified. Um, it's pretty carry-on friendly, um, and it's a little bit lighter than a Pelican case. And one thing I don't like about Pelican cases is the dividers are kind of on the on the flimsy side. So all in all, I would say this is a very very good bag. <clears throat> I would highly recommend it. If anyone has any questions, just write me in the comments below. And once again, this has been Jeremy Smith at Photog J the Great. Until next time, take care.